Okay, it's time for another SNG short. Just so you, you the viewer, and you the purchaser, can see what's going on around here. Now, um, we have had uh, grandchildren here for over a week, eight days. They finally went home yesterday. We're back to the studio, it's Friday, and I am catching up on all this work that has to be done. So the first thing is to shift this mask. And I think it came out really well. I signed it right here as they sign all my masks and she's ready to rock. Okay, so we're gonna put her in a plastic bag, put her in this nice strong box and send it off. Okay, so now we start the process of cutting from the templates all the wood that goes in these kits. I do not have a laser cutter, so I do it by hand. And in a lot of ways, you know, they really come out nicer this way. What I do is I line up, uh, let's see, that's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna line up the leading edge parallel to the grain because that's the strongest way to cut the wood. And then I'm gonna take a blade, go around this, and cut up four sets of wings. So what I do is I put the template on the piece of wood like this and I keeping the leading edge, which is this edge here, parallel to the grain. And this is the strongest way to cut the wood. Now that they're marked, and I'm sure the leading edges are correct, and the grain, I'm gonna take this knife, which I can't show you I'm doing, because I don't have the good camera and the tripod here today, I have the iPhone, but I'm gonna take a straight edge, I'm gonna go along these and cut them. It goes very quickly, probably as fast as a laser cutter. And in fact, the amount of time that it takes you to plot everything into the machine, put the wood in and get it all lined up in there, you could probably cut it. Let's see. It's uh, now, let's see, uh, six minutes to three. Let's see how long this takes me. Okay, so that took two minutes. And I'm surprised it took that long because uh, I had... Uh, a dragging blade, but that's it. See, those are cut out. Those are ready to go with one uh, delta. Now I'm gonna do the next one. So now we're uh, cutting the uh, templates or actually the, the shapes, balsa, for that. I call that the wing tunnel and also the fillet. And we got one on the top, we got one in the bottom. And then up near the front, we have this piece of filler material, uh, which, like a stop knocking over, it goes in like this and it matches to the angle because you've got uh, a one eighth piece of wing in there. And so you have to put, fill the gap between these two, glue them together and then sand them to shape. So they look like that. Okay, so there we go. We've got all the wood parts cut for the Delta. Now I need to, uh, next up, cut the body tubes, which are made out of this. Um, and we measure them up to that and we cut those and those go in the box and then there's a whole bunch of goodies that come out of all these boxes that have uh parachutes and shock cord i'm mean, using cavalar stuff i really like it uh it doesn't stretch much but it's, uh, it's got a heart of gold now here's all my centering rings uh over here we've got miscellaneous uh, we've got eye bolts and uh, lugs and engine clips and then there's uh, engine blocks in here. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into one of these kits. And here's all the parts. Now, these are all the parts for, uh, I've shown you it in pictures, but this is for the um, my V2 rocket, which I just love. The thing flies so good. Um, and these parts are very evenly cast, as you can see. There's not, uh, there's nothing uneven about them. They look like they were done in a factory. They were, they were done in the SNG factory. And of course, here's the fins. And uh, they're basically ready to go. You have to do a little bit of sanding and then attach them like this. And then use uh, and put epoxy glass fillet to fix them in really strong. I've never had one come loose yet, amazingly. These are uh, different boat tails, but I'm going to include on the Delta these boat tails uh, because the other mold's wearing out. These are the vortex tips that go on there. And of course, these are all the nose cones for that. So, got a few more parts to cast over there. 
uh, which will be just these, because these are what actually they had planned to have. This one broke, unfortunately, but those are what they originally had planned to have on the X15 Delta. So that happened because you get a really thin spot here, and I have to double cast it. So that's what I was able to get done today and a little bit yesterday. Uh, Monday, I'll finish this all up, and we'll have rocket kits to send out. So what a day, there's the UPS guy. He was happy to see me. I saw him drive by and so uh, I ran over to him and your mask is on the way. And that's how we do things here at SNG Studio. Signing out, we'll see you this weekend. And don't forget, we're gonna have slot car fun on uh, Sunday, Sunday slot car fun. And then also um, we're gonna start a new series. And we're trying to think of a name for it, but basically, I'm going to be talking and telling stories about my career. Like when I first went to work for Francis Ford Coppola and I met Arthur C. Clarke and Sidney Poitier, of all people who passed away today. I had the uh, good luck to have met him through Francis Ford Coppola. And I'll be telling those stories and many more in the show once we come up with the name. So <laughs> hope you enjoy this uh, SNG short. Yes, we had a PS. I thought I would show you UPS. See ya.